White-tailed deer have not always been abundant in population. In the early 1900s, only 500,000 white-tailed deer remained throughout the United States. It was national leaders like Theodore Roosevelt and Aldo Leupold that, like us, enjoyed hunting and had a strong connection with the land. As hunters, these leaders understood that stewardship of our most precious natural resources was vital to help wildlife populations grow and thrive. Together, they led the movement known as the North American Model of Wildlife Conservation. This is like your dream western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Him and those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. He punched me in the face. <laughs> To be in this moment right now is like Fantastic. pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> This little food plot here is where I've been seeing several deer in the evening. They're coming out of these turnips and stuff too, but this is kind of chokes them down, so we'll stick this blind in here. It should work, and okay. uh, we'll have a decoy out. Hopefully, if anything mature comes out, you can smash it. How far are we across this food plot here? Do you know how you arranged it? It's 52.3 uh, yards to the edge of that. 0.3, is that important? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I can shoot across it, so I assume that you can. Okay. Watch your eyes. Well, I hope this works. I'm gonna have a little fun with the decoy. Hopefully it'll work as planned. Directly to my left from this ground blind, there is out about 100 yards, a turnip patch. Directly in front of me, I'm sitting over a clover patch. I've got my decoy set up at 15 yards. Just heading into the, to the rut. We're a little pre-rut right now still. The younger bucks are chasing does. Hopefully sometime this week, one of these big bucks will start feeling the itch and move during daylight and give me an opportunity. set up here and just not quite ready for a fight yet. Without quality habitat, there would be no white-tailed deer. Taking into account that over the past 125 years, hunters, organizations like the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and landowners like David Westmoreland that serve as stewards of the land for the benefit of wildlife have contributed to white-tailed deer now reaching over 32 million in population.
an exciting morning. This little eight we saw briefly last night, and this morning he came in on a string and read the script absolutely perfectly. So much fun. I love the white tail rut for moments just like that. Abundant populations and quality habitat provide the opportunity for us to hunt these deer in our own way, whether it is in a tree stand along a travel corridor or getting unconventional in your pursuit using mock scrapes, scent drags, or a decoy to draw in a territorial buck. No matter what tactic you choose, the Redding Bucks are sure to put on an exciting show. this buck up in the turnips about 20 minutes ago, but wouldn't you know he came and he circled and came right into the decoy, absolutely perfect. It just wasn't quite the buck I was looking for, but it is cooling off here in Kansas and the rut is kicking off, it's awesome. This morning we saw quite a bit of deer activity in this turnip plot that we're sitting now, including the six point that I ended up passing on, which came over to my other stand. And there was another buck in here as well. Fortunately for me, we had a shift in the wind that's gonna afford me the opportunity to hunt this turnip patch. We've not seen any of the deer that are coming to this plot, except for this morning. So our hope is a change in perspective will also bring us a change in some new deer in the area. comes in here.
That was absolutely perfect. That big old buck was following this doe to hot on her trail. And lucky for me, she came right in front of my stand. It has been a great morning here in Kansas. I have been waiting all week for a big mature deer like that to step out in front of me. And I have had so much red activity. And to finally connect with a deer like that is so exciting. Quality management practices and habitat stewardship on farms like this benefit wildlife and provide increased opportunities for hunters. These farms foster an environment that allows young deer to reach maturity, Looks good. giving hunters a better chance of harvesting a mature age class of deer. I thought he crossed the creek, but Stick says he's this way, Christy. Find him, boy. Find him. Find him. Find him. You got him, lady. Got him. So was, proud of you. I was sweating there for a minute. I'm like, oh, dang. Good job, lady. Yeah. I told you we had lots of big bucks. Well, you just didn't believe me. <laughs> this morning, you know, that eight came out, and dang, he's 12 yards from me. And Is your he, heart beating? Oh, in my throat. <laughs> and it was just so excited, exciting to see him. But I knew, you know, this, that buck needs a couple years. You know, there's older deer here, and waiting for a big mature buck is That's the hard, hard <laughs> but super rewarding. You know, wouldn't you know? Not not 15 minutes later, actually, this buck ran off that buck. Oh, did he? And how awesome is that? And he's a big mature deer. Look at the, the nose on him. Yeah, he's old deer. I mean, he's a great deer. That's cool. I'm happy for you. Like I said, that there's not a better feeling than coming into a blood trail and find this. It's cool. Absolutely. Our natural resources, including wildlife, represent the health and wealth of a country and its people. Thanks to hunters, our great nation is rich in opportunity to get out and enjoy the harvest of mature wildlife and enjoy wild places.